part of the Belvedere Palace is called the Statue Gallery. Let's admire the sleeping Ariadne. A Roman copy of a Greek original of the Hellenistic period, the second century BC. On waking, Ariadne will be married to Dionysius and carried away to Olympus. The internal courtyard of the Belvedere Palace acquired its octagonal outline when Simonetti added a portico in the 18th century. One morning in January 1506, the architect Giuliano de Sangallo rushed to Michelangelo, inviting him to come and see the extraordinary sculpture which was being unearthed in Nero's golden house. It was the La Cohen group, representing the death of La Cohen, priest of Apollo, who had incurred the god's anger and together with his two sons was crushed to death by a snake. The Sistine Chapel, Michelangelo's masterpiece. A powerful series of frescoes, famous throughout the world. the painter Raphael's youthful grace, Pope Julius II entrusted him with the decoration of his apartments in the Vatican, which are now known as the Raphael Rooms. Masterpieces by Raphael hang in the picture gallery. Among them, the Transfiguration, the painter's last work left unfinished at his death. Francisco and Jacinta, the protagonists of the events which marked the destiny of Fatima. They are normal children, not at all different from other children. You see them here in the picture which appeared for the first time in the newspaper O Secolo of Lisbon on October the 15th, 1917, after the sixth and last apparition. Lucia, 10 years old, is the eldest. She is a cousin of Francisco and Jacinta. Intelligent, vivacious, clever, she organized plays, dances, but also prayers with the children of the village. It was she who always spoke with Our Lady. She entered religious life and is now a Carmelite nun in Coimbra. Our Lady told her that she would have to remain for a longer time on earth in order to spread devotion to her immaculate heart. Francisco, nine years old. He is 